In this tutorial, we are going to update the firmware on our device through the Coyote IoT Device Management Platform. Go to the data model where we can find all the functionality and open the firmware update object with ID5. If we open this, we can find some information including the state. And the state is now defined as zero, which is called idle and described as before downloading or after successfully updating. Go back to the resources and look at the update result where we've got value zero, which is the initial value. So I prepared a firmware package that we'll use in today's video, which you can find in the demo build Zephyr folder in NJ Zephyr client repository on GitHub. So for this, I click the firmware update tab and start selecting the new firmware image by the basic firmware update option. Upload firmware and browse the prepared firmware. Select the proper binary file. Give it a name, like for example, new firmware update and click save. In the next step, we've got two ways how to deliver a new firmware package. So we can either use a pull method or the push method. I'm gonna use a pull method, which means that I'm sending the link to the device that the device can use to download the firmware image. Alternatively, I can use the push method, which directly pushes the new firmware from the server onto the device. And depending on the device firmware, you can select one image transport type, and by default, my device is co-ops, so I use this type. Click the button next and schedule an update. Now you can see that the process is in progress and it started running through these four steps, starting with preparing the update, initializing and setting the observations. Throughout the process, you can see the state of the update. Now we go to see the status of updating the firmware in the serial communication program. So here, you can see that the process is really started. Now, go to the data model and open the firmware update object. After a refresh, you can see that there is a package URI which contains the link that the device uses to download the firmware and the state, which is now changed to one. Open the resource and you can read that the one means downloading. So let's back to the firmware update tab and wait to download the things. Now the download is complete and finished and it starts a reboot. We go to see the status of updating the firmware in the serial communication program. You can see some errors here, but it only means that because of the firmware changes, the connection with the device was lost. In a few seconds, we should see that the device is connected. Everything seems that work again with the new firmware, which you can also see in Coyote. So it seems that we went through the whole process of the updating the firmware over the air. We've got the state changed to zero, which means for us right now, that is after the update. Also, we've got the update result changed to one, which means that the firmware was updated successfully. And that's all for the over the air firmware update. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.